The ZL5901, also known as the PU-2, is a remarkable example of Soviet engineering designed for search and rescue operations, particularly for retrieving astronauts and their spacecraft. Developed in the late 1960s by the Special Design Bureau of the ZL, Zavod Imeni Likacheva, plant under the leadership of Vitaly Andreevich Grashev, this vehicle was intended to address the limitations of its predecessor, the PEU-1, which could no longer meet the growing demands of space exploration. The PEU-1, a wheeled all-terrain vehicle, was initially designed to locate and evacuate astronauts who had landed in remote areas. However, with the advent of three-seat spacecraft and longer orbital missions, the need for a more capable vehicle became apparent. The PEU-1's four-seat cabin was insufficient to accommodate both astronauts and a rescue team, prompting the development of the PEU-2. The ZL-5901 was conceived as a large, three-axle, amphibious vehicle capable of transporting both astronauts and their spacecraft. It featured a spacious passenger cabin for up to 10 people, a cargo platform for the spacecraft, and a crane for loading and unloading. The vehicle's design incorporated a welded aluminum frame with a fiberglass outer shell, providing buoyancy and protection for the occupants and equipment. The PEU-2 was powered by two ZL-375 gasoline engines, each producing 180 horsepower, and utilized a unique board-by-board -board power distribution system, where each engine powered the wheels on its respective side. The vehicle's dimensions were substantial, 11.67 meters in length, 3.275 meters in width, and over 3 meters in height, with a wheelbase of 6.3 meters. Despite its impressive capabilities, the ZL5901's size and weight, 16.14 tons, made it unsuitable for air transport, a significant drawback for a search and rescue vehicle. This limitation ultimately led to the project's cancellation, as the military and space agencies preferred smaller, more transportable vehicles. The sole prototype of the ZL5901 was completed in April 1970 and underwent extensive testing demonstrating excellent performance in various terrains and water conditions. However, its inability to be airlifted overshadowed its advantages, and the project was discontinued. The vehicle was eventually stored at the Zeal plant, where it deteriorated over time. Recently, it was restored and is now exhibited at the State Military Technical Museum in Ivanovskoy, Moscow Oblast. The Zeal 5901's legacy lies in its influence on subsequent search and rescue vehicle designs. The concept of using separate vehicles for cargo and passenger transport emerged from this project, leading to the development of specialized vehicles like the PEU-1M, Crane, and Salon. Although the ZL5901 never entered service, it remains a fascinating chapter in the history of Soviet space exploration and military engineering.